for you. The sun's going to be down tonight at 455, of course, after our return to standard time over the weekend and then 629 for uh, the sunrise tomorrow. So if you're an early riser, it's nice to have that sun earlier. But uh, for many of us, it's an adjustment in the evening as the sun goes down before 5 p.m. It is November 2nd. This is usually the month where we start to feel the chill of winter coming our way, but we certainly won't feel it this week. On average, November is our fourth coldest month of the year with an average high of 52 and an average low of 25. Typically a pretty dry month as well. It's the fourth driest of the 12 for us here in Denver, only about six tenths of an inch of liquid precipitation on average, and we typically get about seven and a half inches of snow Again, on average, it's the fourth snowiest month when you look at Denver's list. Last year, we had more than 13 inches of snow in November, but of course, there have been plenty of Novembers where we've had well under a half a foot of snow. Right now at the airport, it's 72, 75 degrees downtown Denver. Leslie Burns, one of our weather watchers, he's up in Greeley, still in the 60s there, but I think Greeley should at least reach 70 coming up this afternoon. Again, we should be in the 50s this time of year. We were way above that over the weekend. It was 65 on Halloween, 68 yesterday. We're going to go for a high of at least 75 at the airport. Obviously, we'll be warmer than that downtown. We're already at 75, but the record at DIA is 78 degrees. That's from the 1930s. Yes, in the 1930s, they weren't taking the temperature where the airport currently is, but they did move the records out there. So we got to get up to 78 or above to set the record. That seems unlikely at this point. Tomorrow's record is 79. 1915 again we should be within five degrees and then on Wednesday 76 is the record we're going 74 in the forecast so we'll be close to records but at this time I'm just not convinced we'll actually break any records this week it's certainly possible southeast Colorado coming close to 80 50s and 60s in the mountains here today tomorrow looks very similar to today maybe a couple of degrees warmer for many of us for election day we should definitely be in the lower 80s in southeast Colorado and maybe 76 or so in Denver Wednesday we stay in the 70s we will be in the 70s on Thursday and Friday as well we do have crystal clear skies all across the state. We talked about this earlier in the newscast. There is a little weather disturbance in Southern California. That's really the only thing we're watching. Everything else is pretty quiet. It's creating a few clouds from Las Vegas down to Phoenix. The reason I bring all this up is because that system will make its way northeast toward Colorado over the next 24 hours. This is tomorrow at 5 p.m. It'll be right over Utah. But as that system moves northeast, it weakens. So other than a few clouds around here tomorrow and maybe just enough wind for you to notice from time to time, that system's not going to have any impact on our weather and temperatures won't change at all. Like I said, we're going to be in the 70s here each and every day through Friday, and most days will be within a couple of degrees of the record high for that date. We'll see if we actually tie or break any records this week. Saturday, we start cooling down. Sunday turns noticeably colder, 47, and maybe a little bit of snow in the mountains by the end of the weekend, possibly some snow in Denver a week from today, the 9th. That's when the whole weather pattern changes Sunday into Monday. So Britt will be watching, but until then, it's quiet, mild, and dry.